What's up guys, this is Timely here to bring you guys another Unison Lake video. This new event just dropped, I want to talk about it, I want to talk about how the armor and weapons are insanely OP. I'm gonna try to keep this video fast, there's a lot to talk about though, so I'm gonna be talking like really fast, I'm gonna run out of breath and stuff, but I don't care. So I'm setting up, I'm about to run it, I'm gonna look at the middle exchange real quick, just to show you guys the armor and the weapons, talk about the armor, mainly the armor. The armor is super broken. So, there it is, Crystal, the Sacred Altar. Oops, wrong one. Okay, so, here are the armors. They all give concentration uh, 20 percent concentration buff you can stack two of the armors as well for 40 percent concentration buff so that is extremely good people are going to be farming these first to get two of these first because they are extremely good to have if you have no if you have two nulls and then you have two of these on your null proc rate is going to be I don't know 55 percent chance like that is insane that is a flip of a coin but your but the odds odds are in your favor though which is extremely good um the weapons give elevation um i would i wouldn't go for these first i would i would get them uh after you get the concentration two stacks of the concentration or two armors um the reason why these are extremely good is because they go so well with nulls and if people stack the almighty openers then they have stellar gears with two almighty openers and stellar gears that's like 60 percent uh 60 percent mitigation on each side and then they also have concentration with the nulls making them even more tankier so they're so they're tanky towards piercer moves and they're tanky towards regular moves so like archers are fudged like people are gonna get so tanky it's gonna be ridiculous people are gonna become so hard to kill and that's what it's going to come out to once people start getting these gears what I'm looking at right now is the defensive opening skill for magic cut and the other opening skill for concentration seeing if you can stack them seeing if you can stack two of each um, if you looked at the wording it said defensive opening skill while the other one said opening defensive skill so they switched up the words just like a tiny bit so I can't tell if you could stack all of them together so like two cuts and then two concentration openers I can't tell um, I'm sure it's a mistranslation I'm because sh like it, if it is if that's the case like if they're actually doing that this it'll be so broken because people are gonna start stacking almighty cuts stellar gears nulls and concentration openers and it's just gonna be way too much to handle like they're gonna be unkillable pretty much it's not gonna be fun okay and I just entered a bell right now I just used my Aladdin for the light buff and the elevation and also the magic attack buff we got a good layout all uh, the monsters I prefer for this are Kenshin Aladdin Aquarius Cinderella and Romeo if you have all five you're gonna have like an insanely freaking good run but like we were just missing Kenshin in this and we still did pretty good so if you look closely my skill rotation I got meteor starburst blood oath and then death spike and I'm kind of balancing it out like hitting my cooldowns pretty nicely everything's coming off cooldown the pat the rotation is going good I got it down to like a motion which is really important you want to keep the DPS going you don't want to be waiting on cooldowns and stuff so yeah those new armors are so freaking ridiculously good and if you could stack those with magic cut physical cut and then with the stellar gears on top like you're going to be almost invincible like even people that use frenzy to kill you like 
Frenzy's not gonna be scary anymore, literally. I remember back in the day when Frenzy was like really freaking scary and if you had it, it was like an automatic win button. But now, with Knolls getting stronger because of these new gears coming out, the, the concentration openers, it's gonna be a whole different story. You will, you'll be frenzied out, but you're gonna be hitting Knolls like hardcore. It's not gonna be fun. But yeah, so that's that's my strategy for this. I'm gonna be farming the crap out of this. You should too. Uh, definitely go for the armors first. The armor, helm, hat, whatever your choice, whatever stat you need. Uh, definitely get the gnolls out of your metal exchange because you want to use your concentration openers with your gnolls so you can stay alive for the first 30 seconds. What's probably going to end up happening is people, everyone's going to stay alive for the first 30 seconds and then after that people are going to start dying, which is what I'm thinking. So I guess it's not the end of the world, but it's still meta changing, especially for RGB where the tank meta is very strong right now. So. I'm just checking out the rankings. Here I am. I'm like rank 38 for my mage and then rank 35 for my zerg. And then archer, I didn't put any bows on. I just ran with my mage stuff. And then same with the cleric. And that's why I did so poorly in those because you get a bonus for using the specific class weapons that certain class uses. So I highly recommend you try to put on as many of uh, that specific class weapon for the class you're going as to get a good score. So I'm just checking out the ranks. Uh, lots of strong players. Rank 38, I'll take it. 38th best DPS in all of Unison League, which is what I'm seeing here. So that's pretty good, and I haven't spent a dime in so long. I only spend on like, the last time I spent was like on a class spawn and the ticket pack to get the fodder for my Shingen. But now I'm just chilling. I'm waiting. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna spend anymore because I hear. I'm hearing rumors that Unison League Two is coming out probably in the next half year. Brave Frontier Two just came out, so it's completely possible that we're gonna have a next installment. So yeah, that's all the time I have for now, guys. I'll talk to you guys later, and good luck out there.